What's happening everybody? So today we've got an interesting Excel tutorial and this one is how do you extract exchange rates directly off a website. The website we will be using today is Google Finance and I find it the most reliable source of exchange rates for Excel. They are usually updated every 15 minutes so as, uh, even though they won't be live they will still be as fresh as you could get them. The way we're going to do this is using a function called, an, actually an Excel object called XML HTTP. What this does is it uses an XML request to get an HTTP page. All right, once we've got that HTTP page, we then search within the XML, HTML, of that, ex of that HTTP page for the exchange rate. And now that in itself is quite a complicated process and I think I might do a separate video for that. I think for this, I might just take you through the, the bones of the process, which you can copy yourself, uh, and then you'll be able to use it in your Excel document without knowing too much of the detail. I think we could get lost in the detail, so let's just uh, look at it from a high level first. The first thing we do is we we uh, assign OHTTP to Microsoft SQL XML to XML HTTP. This looks quite complicated, but it, it essentially is an XML message to receive an HTTP website address. We then have our URL, which you see over here is Google Finance. And then we have our HTML document, which we are searching for our exchange rate. We then set OHTTP to a new XML HTTP object, all right? We then assign our URL over here. Our URL is, essen is essentially what is between these quotation marks, plus SCP. SCP is what we are going to use in our function. If we go back to our XML document, you'll see exchange rate. This is our function. And over here you can see we've assigned exchange rate. And SCP is our quotation. So you, if you actually replace this with USD, czar, and take out this at sign, and paste this into Google, you will get uh, Google Finance's uh, website for um, USD czar. We can actually do that. Let me just show you quickly. So for instance, over here, we've got HTTPS, here is our URL equals to USD czar, and here we have our HTML page, which we are going to look through. All right. We're opening the socket, we're, we're sending the URL through, we're getting the URL, and we are getting the HTML document. What happens now is we are going to, we are going to search through the, the HTML document. This is quite a, uh, a, an in-depth process, and I think I'll do a separate uh, video about that. And we're going to look for the currency value, and we're going to return that in our function. So if you guys want to copy this, you're more than welcome. And we look for each exchange rate. We look for USD over here, over here, plus ZAR over here. All right. So once you've done that, you can go back to your Excel document. And you can, oh, yeah, another thing. So what is very important is you need to go to your tools and your references, right? To use XML HTTP, and the HTML documents, you need to uh, you need to have two references uh, that are ticked in your VBA, and those would be Microsoft HTML Object Library and Microsoft XML. Once you have these, you would be able to actually use this functionality in Excel. All right, let's play around this play around with this a little bit. So if we go equals exchange rate, you can see our function popping up here. And let's say we would like to see 
GBP and USD's exchange rate. Close quotations, close brackets, and voila. You can see they're both refreshed at the same time. I find this very useful because you'll be able to put this in any cell in your document, anywhere you like. You can literally have a whole string of exchange rates over here. And uh, I think it's, it's quite useful. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, I will put the video of how to scan this HTML document uh, soon. And uh, yeah, thanks guys. Cheers.